That's the Henry 4570. She's a beautiful rifle. Big four. Look at that. You all know it's empty. You all know it's empty. So I'm pointing it like that. You all know it's empty because I've been cleaning it in front of you. See? You all know. But man. It's really nice. Bush gun, though. Probably won't be so nice later, but it'll be a different nice. It'll have a patina. Have some more wounds, you know. Get a few marks. Help remind you of the trips. Anyway, back to oily rag. And I think just keep adding more oil to a couple of drops. Just keep adding a little bit more to it. And then it just stays nice and oily. This is my Henry single shot 4570. Um, and it's a beautiful gun. Blue walnut stocks. Really nice. Almost too nice, they say, to bring out into the bush. And I've been hunting with this in this pretty thick, deep, dense bush. Yeah, that hour. It just gets a bit of patina, <laughs> a few marks, a few war wounds. Um, I took a deer with it on this trip. Uh, shooting. 300 grain hollow points. Yeah, so like the, uh, the setup that I have for hunting seeker deer, you know, any light body deer, I use 300 grain um, hollow points. That trucking along, mm, hard to say, I haven't cronied them. Probably 2,100 feet per second, 2,150 feet per second. Um, <clears throat> yeah, jacketed hollow points, man. Oh man, 300 grain is shoots pretty flat out to a hundred and something yards you know and it just does the business um, if I'm shooting bigger deer going after reds maybe big reds the old 300 grain is just to smoke them too but I actually reload uh, 350 grain uh, flat point hornadies because I've got shit loads of them so that's what I use so that's uh that's my setup for the bush Awesome bush cannon, awesome bush cannon. This thing absolutely smokes deer. Entry rune, the size of a, well, a 45. Exit wound, took out the side of the bamboo. It was massive, massive. Actually, I haven't seen anything like it. One thing I really like about this, um, about this setup is there's no safeties. You know, the hammer can't hit, hit the, the, on the firing pin to detonate the round because of the mechanisms inside. You can load, load through the breech here, you're in. All you have to do is cock the hammer and go. The hammer pull is really heavy, it's real heavy, which is good because then it's not going to go off. Um, and it's real nice, it's really quiet. See if you can hear it. See, very quiet. So when you're sneaking up on deer, you can cock that hammer real nicely. So I've also outfitted this rifle here with the, the hammer spear. If you're using a scope, you need a hammer spear because look at that, you can't get your, your thumb in there. It's really hard to actuate the hammer. Yeah, and it's this gun here, she's topped with a, a Leupold um, 2.5 by 20 um, FX2 ultralight scope. When she comes up, you know, you can really look around. She's really good for the bush. Two wides open shooting. It's like really good. It's got like this real, it's like a shotgun action, you know, a little lever on the back. It's ambidextrous. So if you're a lefty, if you're a lefty, you can uh, action whichever way. Uh, so yeah. And it's all business, man. It's a 22 inch barrel. And look at it. It's so easy to handle. Handles really nice in the hand. That's the balance point. You know, right there, so it sits real nice when you carry it. See, like that. It just sits so perfectly. Really good. You know, because I'm right, right handed, I carry on my left. So that if something comes up, I'm quick, I'm up. You know, I can swing it under my armpit and come up. But that's just the way I carry. That's just my technique. I, I prefer to carry on my left because I'm right handed, so I can go straight up, you know, straight into action wherever I need to go. 
because there's a point of balance and I can shoot it from there. I don't have to slide my hand forward all the time. If it's a real quick shot, it can be up and I'm ready to go. Really like this gun. It's powerful. And in this bush here, like you probably can see behind me how dense it is and 100 yards, 150 at the most. And that's in a real super clear area. Generally, 60 to 80 is what you'll be shooting. And this thing here, she's a hammer. She's a hammer, man. So yeah, so that's that's my, my Henry, my Henry 4570 single shot. Um, she's a beast. I really enjoy shooting it. It's quite, I've already mentioned it, it's quite therapeutic to just sit down and camp after the day stalk, you know, after the day spoils, and just go through, give your gun, you know, a bit of an oil up, especially being blue, and these stocks, so I always carry my kit with me. Give it a pull through, regardless of whether it's been shot or not, because I need to. So, so yeah, yeah, folks, that's my Henry. That's the Henry 4570.